How do you start a new fresh film music project in Cubase? I created a new project called Film Music. Here you see I use an endo, but it doesn't matter. It's just the big brother of Cubase and everything I show you works in Cubase too. And today let's talk about the movie file. And here I take the file and I want to drag it, let's say into bar five. So for this, I want to activate the grid because when I don't do it, you see it's very difficult to get to bar number five. So activate grid and bar and now just drag and drop to here and we see it's working. So let's see whether we can see some picture. So here nothing is going on. And here we see, yeah, we got picture. Okay, but here is a red text and it says we've got the wrong frame rate. We set the project to 24 frames per second, but the video is in 30 frames per second. Now we go to project, project setup, and we can change it manually or just say get frame rate from video and go to OK. That's it. No red text. OK, so now here you see we changed from bars to beats to uh, time code. Bars beats and time code. But perhaps you want to have both. So let's add a ruler track. We can add it with this plus or right click and then add ruler track. One ruler track. Go to here. And it set to time code. You can set it to seconds, samples and so on. But we want to have the time code. So now here we've got bass and beats and here is the time code. Next thing is here we want to have bar number one and I prefer to have an offset and I don't want to start at bar one because before the first few seconds there are a lot of automations going on, controller, and I guess every door needs a few seconds or milliseconds for getting, getting warm. So we don't start at the beginning of the project. Here is now bar five, and let's go to the project setup. You see here, I've got an offset of two. Let's set it to zero. If modified, do you want to keep the project in these positions? No. So now we've got one, three, five, seven. Or you can say here you want to start with number one. So here we say seven. And now we start with the zero. Okay, and that's not what we want. We want to change it to six this way. Okay, so you can do this when you want, but it's not uh, necessary. But I guess it's uh, better to start here and not the movie start here. Okay, and now let's check the time code. So you see here we've got the time code 12 seconds and zero frames. Do we have the time code in the movie? I guess we don't have. So most of the time you should have embedded time code. So now I import another film. Let's take this one. And now we've got to change 
the frame rate again project setup and frame rate and here it imported the audio file too so let's say reference or you can say video sound what else okay let's check the time code you can see here is the embedded time code of the movie and this is our time code so we can move this file to another part and you can see the bad thing now here the first ruler switch to time code so we get to set it back to bars and beats okay and now we want to have the same time code here and we can go to project project setup and you can calculate the offset but we can do it very easy just go to project set time code at cursor and now we type in this time code 52 21 you have modified the time code offset do you want to keep the project content at this time code position no nope. and you can see everywhere where we are you've got the same time code here and here just check it because it could be that there are some changes in the picture but it should be the same everywhere and what i prefer not to start at zero i prefer to start at one hour so most of the time you start at one hour because you've got multiple reels when you've got long movies um, in the early days you had just 50 minutes per reel so wow wow uh, wow um our one was the first reel the second hour was the second reel the third hour was the third reel and so on and sometimes you say okay we've got a few chapter uh in the movie and the first chapter is the first hour and very often when you're working for a tv you start with hour 10. so here i would say let's go to the project setup and we want to start here uh, not here we want to go to here set time code cursor here 10 hours let's go back to here and the other reason is when you start here at zero let's do it we start at zero 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 so what is before zero hmm. so this can differ from um, DAW to DAW so it's better to start with a real time code this is it's not a real time code is it minus or what what is it so this can cause some problems this is the second reason why you shouldn't start at zero okay so we go to here and type in this time code again now let's try our one okay so after this you should communicate to your cutter when you are working with an external cutter or editor that you changed to one hour because when you're talking about the time code one hour and 10 seconds for you it means the first 10 seconds but for the editor it means a one hour and 10 seconds so one hour later it's very important and another thing why it's very important to have this embedded time code 
when you are watching something and you use the player, you see the player always starts at zero. And now at the right uh, bottom corner, we see the correct time code. So this is the important time code and this is not the important time code. Okay, so this has been the first things how to start the movie, how to import this one, how to change the settings. And you see in Noendo every time when I'm changing the settings, the, the time code settings here, it changes the top ruler. And now I get it sick to uh, back to bars and beats. I don't know why, but it is how it is. Okay, that's been the first part, how to import the movie, how important the framework is, the ruler, the offset and some time code infos. See you next time. Bye.